So once again, I welcome you all in the name of Yeshua Mashiach. Continue to pray for the nation of Israel, for the shalom of Yerushalayim. Uh, at this time, this hour, uh, Israel needs our prayer. Uh, Israel uh, is going through a very terrible situation because there is in, uh, international pressure upon him. And from every side, the enemy is attacking. Uh, the evil forces, the enemy, the Canaanite spirit is that hatred spirit is such that it is bloodthirsty. And they, they are not bothering small children. In one village, they killed 40 people. So we need to pray for uh, Jerusalem, peace of Jerusalem. Yes, sir. So see here uh, in the question D, hmm? the following yes. words have preposition prefix to them indicate whether they have article. That is, if it is article, then it is articular, mm -hmm. or do not have article, then it is anarthrous, means okay, without article. Okay. If the word is articular, give the anarthrous form. See, if that word whichever given is articular, articular. then without article how that form will be that we have to give that is called anarthrous if the word is articular give the anarthrous form with the preposition if it is anarthrous give the articular give form, the articular form. Yeah. The now let's see these two examples they have given but let's uh, see to the first example be edom be edom. now uh, any one of you tell me whether this be edom it is Articular means with article you find it or without article that is called with article. article. It is with yeah. article. With article. Yeah, sure. Yes. Yes, sir. Taking the Be. short vowels, yeah. Say go on. Mm -hmm. It takes a sh short vowel. Okay. Now tell me if remove the uh, preposition. Edom is the proper name. What mm -hmm. would be the article for Edom? Hey, Edom. Ha Adom. Ha Adom. Now tell me it is articular or without article. It is articular. Hey, hey Adom is articular, no sir? Adam is articular, but the example that given, it is articular or without article. Is just open it in. I think uh, you have forgotten the rules of the uh, articles. Now see here. This form of Be'edom, it is anarthrous, not articular. This cross sign means that is mark. Okay. That is the mark you have to give. See this. This is anarthrous. No. 
टिल यू आर नॉट गेटिंग नो सर व्हाट इज द जनरल रूल ऑफ आर्टिकल फॉर एदोम फॉर गटरल फॉर गटरल for guttural it is having kamets sir yeah that's what i am telling you but for composite shiva what sir just one minute see here let us consider only this one hmm? edom hmm? edom now if we put article what will be the article comet sir comets hmm? ha Edom because the Aleph being guttural, okay. Yes. Now, what is the rule of the article? That this article will be removed, and instead of that, we have to put Ba Edom. Okay. Getting Ba Edom. Okay. Yeah. But if we are using only preposition, then according to the rule of preposition, this corresponding short vowel will come to the this uh, under breath, breath preposition corresponding short vowel will come. Okay, so this form is an arthros form without article. You have to recognize whether this is articular or without article. Okay, sir. Everyone understanding? Yes, sir. Yes. Now, second example, you see, ka adam. Now, ka adam. It is articular. Articular. Why? Because before that, it is hidden is ha adam, guttural. Alep being a weak guttural, he with comets is put. Okay. And instead of that. This cup has taken the pointing and position of the article according to the rule number four. So ka adam it become. So you have to write for adam articular uh, anarthrous form. Anarthrous form is ke adam. Ke adam. Consider okay. that there is no article. Then you will write it anarthrous form as ke adam. So two examples I've shown you. Rest you try. Already the answer ki also I have shared you. Okay. If you are having problem, you can look back. Okay. Yes, sir. Today uh, we are going to start a new chapter, and that is on noun. Noun. In biblical Hebrew, uh, nouns are very important. Before starting, can anyone tell me what is noun? Noun is the name of a place, person, or thing. Yeah. Noun is the name of the place, person, or thing. Thing. Now tell me, uh, in Hebrew, actually, the name of city. They are feminine in nature. Name of the cities. For example, Jerusalem. It is feminine. Name of the city is feminine in nature. Then body parts. 
in pair. For example, for eyes, uh, in biblical Hebrew, they say ain. Ain. So ayin. the two pairs of eyes, we can say ain ain. You know, in Psalm 121, there is one verse, Esa, Enaim, Eharim. That is, I lift up my eyes to the hills. The hills. So, Enaim is feminine in nature. For Hebrew, in Hebrew, for hand, it is called Yad. So, Yadaim. Yadaim is also feminine in nature. And then, the Ragel is used for fit. So, ragle, uh, Reglaim. That is feminine nature. Body parts are considered to be a feminine in nature. Then name of the cities, uh, they are also feminine. So you need to remember this thing because uh, in biblical Hebrew, nouns are identified uh, by its number and gender. So, if you see here, let us start with Sus. Sir, Israel, is will of... also, Israel also feminine only, they will pronounce. Yeah, name of the city, country, it is feminine, feminine in gender. So, Sus. Sus means horse. horse. Now, this sus is masculine. And it is singular. Meaning is horse. Masculine, singular. Sus is masculine, singular. Now, if I want to, to say horses, mm. horses, that is plural, no? Yes, sir. Masculine plural. So, it will take, for this, it will take Hirek Yod and Mem Sufsit. Read this one. So, yeah. Susim. Susim. So, Sus will become Susim. Sus will become Susim. That is in plural form. Okay. Till Sus, everything is same. But for plural, Hirek Yod in. and Mem Sophit is added. Okay. Now, if I want to say two horses, two horses, then what will be the form? Two means bet. Two horses. <clears throat> that is dwell. For dwell, it is to say in. Say in. Accent will be for this syllable. For two horses, dwell, so same. Ainaim, reglaim, aim. For two, for two things, they say aim. Okay. Uh, even uh, kerubim, kerubim. That is also plural. Huh? God uh, motion cherubim to guard the garden of Eden. So mm -hmm. that is plural. Not one, two or more than two. Cherubim. 
the english also we call cherubim only hebrew also cherubim no in hebrew it is cherubim cherub okay cherub so okay. so cherub yeah. means uh, one one angel pardon Two. See, then means it should come Kerubayim, right? For two. No, 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 no. Uh, whether God has put two, three, or four, we don't know. But there, the word used is Keruvim. Keruvim means plural, and when it is horses, we cannot predict that it is. Yeah, it is not one. But more than one, that is two, three, four. For that, it is used keruvim. But if it is dwell, then this form is used aim. Okay, for dwell form, only for two. For example, ain, ain aim, regla aim, aim. So for that, this two form aim is. Used. Now, for feminine, for feminine, if you see, uh, these all are masculine. Now, let's say feminine. Now for feminine, for masculine it is sus. You have to just add comets hey. Read this one. Susa. 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 This is feminine singular. Feminine singular, mare. Feminine singular, mare. Now, if you are to convert masculine into singular masculine to singular feminine, you have to add comet say. Generally, feminine gender, you will find most of the time comet say added. The name, proper name, for example, Rivka. Comet say Sara. Comet say then Leah. Comet say most of the time in biblical Hebrew uh, name the feminine genders are having the ending Comet say. If Sus is masculine so horse, masculine singular horse, then for Susa it is feminine singular mare. Now, if you want to say plural mares, then it will be susot. Read this one. So, so. Susot. 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 Mares. Mares. Now, uh, we'll take some example so you'll, you'll understand. Read this one. Ish. Ish. Yeah. Ish. 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 Am I audible now? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, see here. This one is 
Ish. Ish. Ish means man. And this is masculine singular. For masculine singular, I will use the short form as MS. Now, if I want to say woman, then it will be Ish Isha. will become Isha. 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 Comet say woman feminine singular. You're getting? Yes, sir. Ish man Isha woman. woman. Now one more example we will take. Read this one. This is Dabir Dabar Dawar 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 is word, thing, or matter. Masculine singular. Now, if I want to convert it into words, that is masculine plural. We just saw that for converting masculine singular into plural, we have to add im ending. Hmm? Sus will become susin plural. Yeah. So, what about dawar? Dawari. Yeah. Dabaim. Dabari. Now tell me why it is not Dawarim, why it is Devarim. It's more than one. No. Masculine Shiva. plural. Yeah. Why this comet is shortened to Shiva? Because Is of it because it's masculine. No, no, not that. Because of the third vowel back rule. Here also for Susim, uh, it would have changed to Shiva, but Shurek being a long vowel, it cannot be reduced. Full letter vowels, they cannot be reduced. But whereas comets, comets is only a full vowel, it is heightened to Shiva. This is the third vowel back rule. And that rule uh, we are going to learn. Now, for example, if you see here, there it is one vowel, two vowel. And because of this addition of im ending, suffix im ending when it is added the vowel changes textless in uh, a noun when we added a heavy suffixes the vowel pointing changes textless and it is reduced to the shortest possible vowel and the shortest possible vowel is shiva
any doubts regarding this? Dawar masculine singular changes to Dewarim masculine plural. It becomes words. Sir, uh, can yeah. you? I didn't understand the third vowel back rule, but this uh, the is uh, first vowel word, right, sir? It's Which? not third. The devarim. Huh. You said it is third vowel back rule. Yeah. Now uh, so, in this, this is first vowel. This is second vowel, and this is third vowel. Third vowel is reduced short. Oh, okay, okay. I thought we are always going from uh, right to left. Yeah. And uh, sometimes, uh, yeah, I will explain you that time. Otherwise, you will get confused now. Uh, but you need to remember there is a uh, third vowel back rule. And according to the this rule, this is a Hebraic tendency uh, on accented syllable. Uh, any suffixes when we added the third vowel back from the accented syllable is uh, will be as short as possible and the shortest possible vowel for non guttural is shiva and for guttural it is composite shiva getting for yes, sir. non guttural it is shiva and for guttural it is composite shiva okay So what we learned is sus is a masculine singular to make it masculine plural susim susim everyone say susim 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 or make it dwell susaim 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 for make it feminine singular susa Susa. And feminine plural, susot. 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 Similarly, susot. ish will become isha. Here is doubling dages actually. Ish will become isha and dawar will become devarim. Devarim. Okay. Getting? Yeah. Now for the dual ending, I already uh, told you for dual ending, this sus, if we want to say two horses, then it is susain, susain, okay. Uh, Sir, excuse me, sir. Yes. For a man, we said ish. Then for a plural, we yeah. will say ishim. Is it like that, sir? Like for men. <laughs> man plural in English, men. We will say in yeah. Hebrew ishim. No, not ishim. Anashim. Oh. And for women, uh, women. That is W O M E N women. We say it nashim. They are uh, there are some irregular noun that we are going to learn. I'm not making you confused now. Uh, after learning the regular form of the noun, we are going to learn irregular form of the noun. In irregular form, you know, because the name is irregular, so nothing matches. Okay, there are only some forms which are irregular, but uh for generally generally the rule which i'm telling you this is the general rule for all the hebrew word uh, masculine singular no suffix added but for masculine plural it is susim for dual it is susang for feminine singular it is susa comet say and feminine plural it is susot
Now for dwell, if we see here dwell, ozen, ozen means what? Ear, it is feminine singular. Ear, if we want to convert it into a uh, dual ending, two years, then now read this. Yeah. Two years. This is a dual form. Now tell me, here it is a lesser holum. Now this is which vowel? Have you forgot? Sir, what did which you is, ask? This is which vowel? Which one, sir? This, sir. This one. That is Kamets. Kamet. Kamets. Now, under Aleph, which vowel is there? Kamets. Kamets. So, how will you read then this? Oh, it is uh, Kamets. Hmm. Because the lesser holam it will take a corresponding short vowel because of the third vowel back rule and it is heightened to comets hot to hmm? oh so this is oz naim oz naim similarly yad that is hand feminine singular it will become Yadaim. This is two hand. Not uh, dual ending. Yad will become Yadaim. Okay. So this is a dual ending. Now, there are some exceptions, irregular noun uh, that uh, we, uh, if you want, uh, now also I can take. Now, there are some nouns which are naturally feminine for example read this one bat bat means what bat yeah daughter daughter, daughter. Then this one. M. M, M means? 
mother mother now this nouns are uh, generally uh, feminine in gender i already told you yerushalayim although it is having im ending it is a uh, feminine in gender eretz earth land it is feminine in gender body parts so this, are, yeah excuse me sir yeah this mother im ima also sir you had said na ima ima means what then yeah ima means mother mother this is im we call you, you wrote no yeah actually not im this is m sere gives m. a sound hmm? m. m in construct form it becomes im so no need that im. in in chapter two, uh, 11 we are going to learn construct form okay so when these words are putting into the construct form in sentences uh, their form changes so okay. m becomes m. ima and okay. uh, last time I told you uh, some modern Hebrew. Modern Hebrew is little different than biblical Hebrew. Okay, sir. In some pronunciation also and in grammar part also. Now, there are some nouns uh, which appears to be uh, masculine, but its gender, true gender is feminine. For example, M, we, uh, we may think that because it is Mem, so it might be masculine, but it is feminine in gender. Then uh, one more example is this Laila. Now it is having comet say. So what is the gender of Laila? Masculine, sir. Yeah, it is masculine. So these are called irregular nouns. Although it takes comets a feminine gender, fem feminine ending, but it is masculine. Because their original form is masculine in nature. Now one more example. Now, Ao means what? Father. 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 It is masculine singular. Now, as per what we have learned, if I want to say fathers, that is masculine plural. What do you think? Avim. It is absolutely incorrect. Hmm? Because this our father, it takes a feminine ending. Read this one. Aot. Aot. It takes Aot. feminine ending. You getting? Bye, sir. Because it is irregular now. Oh. Av is father, masculine singular, but it takes uh, feminine ending, oath. Oath is actually this polum wow and uh, tau. It is the feminine ending, but av takes feminine ending. Similarly, there, there is one more example. We are learned. Isha means what? Woman. Woman. And number and gender is? Feminine singular. Feminine uh, singular. singular. Now, if I want to say woman, that is feminine plural. According to what we have learned, then it will be how many of you say Ishot? 
known. Yes. Short only, sir, you said. No. Actually, it is Nashim. It takes a masculine ending. Mm. See, Hirek, Yod, and Mem Sophie. It takes a masculine ending. Father, it is a masculine singular noun, but for plural, it takes oath ending, feminine ending. Isha is the feminine singular, feminine noun, but for plural, it takes a masculine ending. So all these are irregular nouns. Are getting mm -hmm. irregular noun. Uh, we are not learn uh, suffixes. Pronominal suffix, but till I will show you. This is what? Bath. 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 Bath is the daughter. feminine singular daughters. Hmm? Daughter. <laughs> If I want to say daughters, then Banot. Banot. Hmm. This bath is a daughter, but its feminine plural is daughter says Banot. And uh, actually, this plural form, feminine plural, uh, now. See, this is Ben. Ben means what? Brother. Brother. No, son. 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 Ben means son, but the feminine plural suffix to the masculine noun. Feminine plural suffix to the masculine noun is also Banot. Oh. That is her son. Her son. Banot. Banot. Hmm? Uh, today, actually, I want you to uh, remember only the general form. Uh, this example, uh, which I shown you, irregular noun, they are limited. Only the, uh, that much example you need to remember. Otherwise, the general rule is sus, susim, singular, plural, susaim, dual, then susa, feminine, plural, and susot. Sorry, susa, feminine, singular, and susot, feminine, plural. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any doubts? No, sir. Uh, almost we have finished this chapter and about the third vowel back rule also. Uh, I, I, I gave you the clue how to recognize and how to form. Only the full letter vowel, they cannot be reduced. They cannot be reduced. Other other vowels uh, changes it takes place to the shortest possible vowel as Shiva and if it is a guttural letter then 
for gutturals, uh, composite shiva it takes. Prefers composite shiva. So only one or two lessons, I think. Uh, then we are going to take exam. Sir, take chapter wise exam. No request. <laughs> chapter wise, not possible. This is so difficult to remember all these uh, rules. Rules, it is very difficult to remember. Mm. But our part is that we are not giving sufficient time. That I agree, yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah. We are not giving sufficient time. <clears throat> And that is also and uh, sometimes you are uh, means not you but many of you are absent also and that's why uh, then what happens if one or two lectures are missed then your interest automatically uh, it goes away learning biblical hebrew that interest no, no, interest is there interest <laughs> <kela nahi hai. laughs> Time date mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Marathi, you understood? Sister Mary? No, sir. She said we need more days. That I understood. Okay. Do you hear a background noise around me? No. No, no. Okay. Anyone remembers last time uh, the expressions which we have learned? Modern Hebrew expression. Yeah. No? Yes, sir. Greetings, no? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ava. It is? Father. 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 Haima. It is? Mother. mother. Haven. Haven. Son. It is son. And Habat. It is daughter. So okay. we have formed uh, sentences. Uh, see, in modern Hebrew, uh, as we are learning uh, Hebrew conversation, uh, you want to speak Hebrew, hmm? oral Hebrew, uh, because uh, just learning biblical Hebrew, it is not sufficient. Uh, if you come across some Jews, uh, you should at least able to uh, greet them and a little conversation you can uh, make with them. So, uh, as you are learning uh, some modern Hebrew greetings, uh, exactly how they treat and how they learn, we are going to learn because we are not going to use vowels here. For ha'ava or ha'abba, we do not use vowels. Uh, this modern Hebrew text is a consonantal text. It is completely consonantal. They do not use vowels. For example, uh, not example, for A class vowel, they use uh, Aleph and He. For I, I and E class vowel, they use consonant Yod and Aleph. And for O and U class vowel, they use Shurek. So, read this one. Say Abashili. What is the meaning of Jay Abashili? Uh, this is my father. This is my father. Then this one next. This, uh, Zod Zod Ima Shili. Zod Ima Shili. That is, this is my mother. mother. Then J. Haben Shelly, this is my son. Zot Habat Shelly, this is my daughter. Then Erevto, good evening. Good evening. Then we learned last time Haak, 
that is brother akhot sister khatul khatul means what cat, cat. and kelev means dog dog so they actually or actually this is my brother mm -hmm. zot akhot sheli this is my sister That's for true. feminine gender they use zot and for masculine gender they use ze mm -hmm. then zo zot khatul sheli this is my mm -hmm. cat and ze hakelev sheli this is my dog oh. then we learn manishma sir excuse me yes so why is uh, kathul considered feminine and uh, kelev considered masculine sir hmm in that uh, like we have written zot kathul sheli that means it is feminine yeah and for kelev we wrote ze kelev sheli considering dog as a feminine in gender uh, we have used this z for masculine and zot for feminine yeah why is dog considered masculine that only i am asking sir and cat is considered feminine for giving you an example sister no sir i am asking Why is one animal masculine, whereas the other animal comes under feminine? Both are animals, right? Yeah. Considering Khatul sister as a cat, feminine in gender, uh, we are we are uh, making a sentence considering that cat is feminine. Oh, okay, okay. You are assuming and just wrote, sir. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay, okay, sir. And considering dog as a masculine in gender, and to show that for feminine we use zot ending, and for uh, masculine we use z. Yeah, for dog, uh, if it is uh, feminine in gender, so for that we will use zot only. Okay, sir. Understood, sir. Okay. Now, some more words. Uh, we'll take and then we'll close. Read this one. Um. Um. Uh, Shema. Shema. Ham. 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 Shepa. Shelly. Hamish. Pakha. Shelly. Everyone say. Hamish. Pakha. Shelly. Hamish. Pakha. Shelly. That means my family. Okay. Mish pakha means family. Ha mish pakha sheli my family. Sir, it is mish pa or mish pakha. Mish, mish pakha. Sorry, one uh, khet I missed. Uh, yeah, this is. Actually, easier. Mishpaka. Ah, okay. Okay. Hmm? Mishpaka. Shelly. Shelly means my. Mishpaka means my family. Read this one. Haswa. Hamubeha. Hasaba. 
Hasaba. Yeah, Hasaba means the grandfather. Hasaba means the grandfather. And Hasapta. Hasapta is the grandmother. This one read. Yes. Sir, sir read grandmother once again. Ha sa. Ha Ha sapta. Ha it is ta. Yeah. Yeah. Ha sapta. And for grandfather, it is ha Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ha sapta, grandfather. Then ha sapta, grandmother. And this one read. And me. Here. Ani sote ko smile. Ani. Ani sote. Ani ani shete ko I am drinking a glass of water. I am drinking water. I water. Ani. Ani ani means I. I. Sote means drink. Sote. Are you right, sir? Sote. Yeah, we'll teach that also. First of all, we will see the Mishpaka. Mishpaka means family. Family. Mish. I can give you hundreds of sentences, but uh, you will get confused. Hmm? Hmm? Ani kote beets. Since I am writing with pen. Hmm? So, in general, also, we can uh, form a sentence. In, in mind, also, you can think if you are having the Reach you are rich in vocabulary, you can uh, form a sentences. For example, I was driving a motorcycle, so I, I it came into my mind. How can I say I'm driving a motorcycle? So I just said Ani Nahak. Ani Nahak means driving. Ani Nahak of Nine. Of Nine means motorcycle. In, in Hebrew. If I am, I want to say uh, car. Ani hmm? Nahak Munit. Munit means car. So remember, Ani means I. Ani means I. And Anaknu means we. But here, let us learn first. <laughs> Ani. Ani. Now, if you want to say, this is my grandfather. Ze. Ze. Ze hasaba sheli. Ze hasaba sheli. Yeah. Ze hasaba sheli. Ze hasaba or ze saba sheli. So that time we don't have to use the article ha. Yeah. But you said ze sava sheli means that time we don't want to use the article ha. No, no, no need to need article. And this is my grandmother. What you will say? Sort. Asavta Shelly. Azot Savta Shelly. Zot. Zot Savta Shelly. Savta Shelly. Zot. Savta Shelly. I think modern Hebrew is a very simple than biblical Hebrew. Yes, sir. 
just you have to write without two vowels. Zot Sapta Shili. So this is my grandmother. If I want to say I am here. I am here. For I Ani 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 Khan Ani Khan Ani Khan Not Anil Khan <laughs> Ani Khan Ani Khan means I am here If I want to say they are all here. They are all here. For they, a Hebrew word is hem. Hem. Hem, kolam. Sorry, I have practice of this using this vowel. No? Zom, uh, ze, sorry, hem, uh, kulam khan. Kulam khan. They are all here. And the last, if I want to say my family. is here and then for, what is the word for uh, my family uh, amish pakha amish pakha amish pakha shelly Mishpaka Shelly Khan. Yeah. Mishpaka. Then yeah. will come Shelly. And then Khan. My family is here. Mishpaka Shelly Khan. Getting? Sir, I think it is better with vowels, sir. Yeah. yeah. But we cannot learn uh, with vowels modern Hebrew. Yeah. Uh, we we'll learn this this hem is for this kulam. We have to just put kulam khan. We can use a vowel, but modern Hebrew purposely we are not using modern Hebrew vowels because uh, our purpose is different. So instead of that, you just uh, remember uh, that which I have taught for A class vowel, which are the consonant used, Alep and He. For I and E class vowel, Yo then Aleph. And for O and U class vowel, they use Wow. If you just remember, this consonant acts as a vowel in modern Hebrew. Only this you need to remember. Modern Hebrew is very simple. No need to remember all the vowels. Just remember this A, E, I, O, U class consonant, which is used as a vowel. Okay. So uh, these Bibles are written in uh, old Hebrew way only, no? Not in, on in, modern Hebrew. Before it is, no, no, it was a consonantal form system. This is uh, what we desire after learning the third stage. We desire that uh, you should uh, write in uh, consonantal text. Okay. Sir. Okay. So we'll finish here. Uh,